Now, as the number of COVID-19 infections surpasses 6,000 cases in Nigeria and abandoned classroom learning persists, students in Nigeria are devising ways to continue class activities via full-time online education. Plus TV Africa correspondent Mary Chinda takes a look at this and reports. O.C. Oshoma is an eight-year-old. He is no longer in the physical school. Thanks to the ban on schools following the COVID-19 outbreak, across Nigeria. He now has to learn from home. When I heard about the lockdown, I wasn't really that kind of, I mean, school fan. But now, I've never been indoors this much. So, I really miss school. He is a primary school pupil and his brothers, secondary school students. Together, they admit that learning from home has its own challenges. The challenge is I was preparing to write the junior exam and the pandemic now hit and we have to come back home. And now that the classes are online, it's harder to ask the questions that you need and get the answers or the quick responses because teachers are too busy trying to some are trying to control the class, so sometimes we're up to 60-something in the class. These children have had to stay at home for six weeks. In their opinion, physical schooling and online education are worlds apart. Normally in physical school, there's, there's more time to go and meet a teacher, to ask for questions that you're not clear on or topics you're not clear on. But since there are time limits on the calls or the classes online, there's, there's a limit to the number of questions you can ask online. So it's, it's, most teachers don't want to entertain a lot of questions. I'm concerned that my parents are spending more money. We have classes and, on foil, and the, the, it has to be power for the Wi-Fi to be on. But if you must study online, then one virtue you must develop is discipline. Most times you tend to get distracted when you're on in classes and people are doing things around you. But you, you have to let everyone know that this time I'm on my class, this time I'm going to be writing notes. And it appears children are not the only ones adjusting to the full realities and attendant challenges of online schooling. Mrs. Oshoma opens up on her struggle with aiding her boys to school from home. So the online education is a new experience for everybody, both for the parents and for the children, because um, prior to this time, not, not all parents are online savvy, and um, the children as well, you know, are also, you know, trying to get used to having to um, be at home, but still have, you know, they're at home, but it's like they're in school, so they have to wake up at a particular time for their uh, Zoom classes, the teachers also as well are getting used to the fact that they have to sit in front of a screen and talk to the students and some of the teachers as well are also trying to get used to the Zoom. Okay, for me personally, network is um, crazy. The teacher as well, they, they also experience that. So while the students are in class, you find that, you know, it goes blank, the teacher has gone off and then they're struggling to come back on. With the rise and spread of the coronavirus disease and the consequent partial lockdown of schools, one thing children wish for is for life to return to normal again. They can't wait to return to schools. I, I miss my classmates. My fear is if, there's no, if the government does not find the cure on time for the COVID-19 pandemic, we'll have to stay extra time in school and that won't be very good. So, if COVID-19 persists, if there is no cure for the COVID-19, what will be the future of education in Nigeria? The fact that there's a pandemic does not stop teaching and learning in Lagos State. Uh, in particular, the Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board has introduced different programs and mechanisms to ensure that even at home, children are learning and they're able to get the best quality of education. So they're part of the means that we're using is the television systems, and at other times we're on radio, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube with content. An uncertainty over the future of classroom learning. 
no one knows if online education would be the new normal. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.